Hi, I'm Ryan Liang. You know, being the 2016 EP Chemistry Student of the Year award winner entitles me to make this video. Cause let's face it, I'm as cool as Ty Lopez. We're doing the titration lab here. And to do the titration, uh, we are looking at measuring a known solution, known concentration of an acid and compare it to the, an unknown concentration of base. Now we're working with a strong acid and a strong base here. We're looking at nitric acid and we're looking at sodium hydroxide. Nitric acid is strong acid, sodium hydroxide is a strong base. What gear are we going to need? Well, you're going to need an apron and you're going to need goggles because one, you're working with glass. Two, you're also working with acid and you're working with the base. So we don't want to get that on your clothes or in your eyes. If it gets on your skin, go and wash it off with soap and water. It should not be a big deal. But for what we're doing here today, we're doing a time-honored technique called titration. What equipment are we going to be needing? Well, we'll have a ring stand. We're going to have two clamps. These are called burettes. You can look at burettes as dispensers. One side is going to be the acid. The other side is going to be the base. We'll label that in time. Now, we're also going to need a testing flask. That's this right here, okay? Because that's what we're going to actually run our tests uh, on. The other thing that we're going to need also is a beaker that basically is going to be our trash beaker, our waste beaker, if you will. How is this going to work? You're going to get a certain amount of acid and then what you're going to do, you're going to make sure that this is closed off. This is the position that this is closed because this is the valve of the burette. Now this is our trash beaker. We can put that underneath here like this. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to fill this. Up. Now we're not going to fill it in the lab. You're not going to fill it all the way up. Okay. Now what we want to be careful, we want to avoid, if possible, air bubbles in the column here. So you need to pay attention to that. If you find air bubbles, uh, try to tap those out, okay? Because that would affect them. That would affect your volume measurements. How do we operate the burette? Well, you may notice if you take a closer look here, uh, you're going to see air bubbles in the spout. We need to clear those air bubbles out because that will give us a bad reading in terms of volume. So in order to do that, we're going to go ahead and we're going to turn the valve, the white valve, open like this. And you notice how it's freely flowing. I'm just showing you how you can do that. Then you can close it like this. Now, you have a little drop there, so you can just tip the side of the beaker to pick up the drop from the spout of your burette. Now you're ready for this burette. You're going to do the same thing with the other side, okay? This is going to be important that you don't mix the acid and the base together in the same burette because that will mess up your res results. Now we're at the point where we're going to go and do the titration. So you're going to get your Erlenmeyer flask and you're going to get some indicator from your instructor. That would be Mr. Canoe. You're going to come in, you're going to put the beaker, you're going to put the flask underneath here, and then you're going to release a certain amount of acid in there. Or I should say a certain amount of base, because the base is going to be our unknown in this experiment. We're going to know the concentration of our acid. So we're going to go ahead with the base, and what we can do, we can set in a certain amount, like let's say five milliliters. So we can go ahead and put those in. Now, if you notice about the draw, about the burette here, I didn't turn the nose, the valve all the way open. But if you take a closer look, you'll notice that there are drops coming out. And you see that the thing, that the burette is slowly draining. Well, we want to get it where we're now at the 15 milliliters. So I put in about five milliliters. Now you notice there may be a little drop here. Um, we can ignore that. Now, the thing that you have to do with this is you need to swish it around like so, so that everything gets mixed. Now, 
comes the tricky part and that's where titrating really comes in. You're going to put your flask underneath the other burette and you are going to turn this just a little bit so you're getting a drop at a time and then you're going to have to close it and you're going to have to swirl it to get the uh, to get it mixed thoroughly. What are you looking for? We're looking for neutralization and because it's a strong acid and a strong base they are both monoprotic, meaning they give off one hydrogen. The nitric gives off one hydrogen. The base has one OH in there. That's going to be very straightforward. Our pH to be at the end point is going to be seven. Now, the indicator is going to tell us at what pH we are roughly at. When the indicator goes green, when it turns green, the solution, then you've reached the end point and you can record how much acid you've used and how much base you have used in milliliters. We can do the calculations later for that. Now, to help you to determine if your color of your indicator is green or not, I would suggest you put a piece of white paper underneath. I would have to go find one at the moment, but no, nope. Can't find it, not gonna worry about it right now. But I'll put a piece of white paper underneath and then the idea, ladies and gentlemen, is that you would swirl it until you come to that green, okay? Then you can rinse that out. You can dump that into the waste beaker. You can dump that into the waste beaker and you can take your squeeze bottle and then you're going to rinse this out with distilled water. And then you're ready to start the whole thing all over again. That's the basic idea behind titration. You're taking a concentration that you know what it is. It, in this case for our lab, it's the acid. It's gonna be 0.1 molar nitric acid, and we're gonna titrate it against a base, a strong base, sodium hydroxide, NaOH, but we don't know what the concentration is. That's the purpose of the lab. And remember, guys, be careful when you are working with the nozzles here. When you are turning it, when you are turning it, okay, turn it slowly, slowly how I'm doing it, where you can control the drops that are coming in. So you're going to fill the burette to a certain volume. You're going to make sure there are no air bubbles in here by turning the nozzle like this to allow the water, well, in this case, it's water, uh, to flow through so there are no air bubbles in here because that will disrupt the lab. That will disrupt your data. Okay, that is basically it for it, for this particular lab. All right, I am Ryan Liang. I'm about to go have lunch with Ty Lopez. I'll catch you later.